everyone, myself Asfan Yar from Royal Cyber. Today we're gonna look at how we can consume a custom API inside Microsoft Copilot Studio. So let's begin. Let's see the topics we are gonna cover today. First of all, we'll have introduction to the Copilot Studio. Then we'll look at the custom API that we have built to handle the flight inquiries. After that, we'll see how to build custom connector from API in Power Platform. And then at last, we'll see how to consume a custom connector inside Microsoft Copilot Studio. Also, we'll see the communication between Copilot Studio and the API. Let's explore what Microsoft Copilot Studio offers. Here you can see we are landed on the Copilot Studio page, our platform where we can create new Copilots. We can create our tailored Copilots specially. So here is the option available of create a custom copilot, extend, and here we have a list of already built it copilots that we have already built. And uh, we'll go with the new copilot. So we'll click on create a custom copilot. After clicking on it, it will ask to set a name. It will ask to set up the language. It will ask to add a url of your website or a website that you want to generate answers on the basis of their content so we'll not enter anything here we have just created a copilot with the name of royal cyber copilot uh, two minutes ago it is a brand new empty copilot with just named as royal cyber copilot we'll open it and after creating a copilot, it will land it us on that screen that will have a chat box. We'll have a new menu where we'll see the topics, actions, entities, analytics, publish, extend, and the setting. So we're going to start with the topics. Here you can see we have lots of already built in topics available. We'll go to create a new topic from the blank here you can see we have created a topic and we'll set up its name here and we can write up its uh, name any of our choice any of our uh, topic that we have to cover any of the feature that we have to cover inside the topic so we'll set up its name we'll add the phrases as well uh, to make it feasible to search from this from the for the queries that a user ask inside the chat so we can add more nodes next to it and we can create a whole flow inside a single topic we can ask question we can send message we can ask a designed card like we can design a form we can show up a card which like a more presentable display format and then we can add a condition we can manage or set or create variables we can jump to another topics from one topic and we can jump to inside a topic on different steps as well we can call to our actions here uh, lots of connectors available we can call them inside the topic as well and the very feasible thing is also available here we can create a http request inside the topic we have option authentication we can send activity and log the results as well and after that we have option of actions uh, where we can create or uh, we can predefine our plugins that we will gonna use inside our copilot we can predefine our actions here and then we can directly call them inside the topics like custom connectors or built-in connectors also here we have a set of predefined entities and we can add more entities to handle different type of values and results. We have option of analytics where we can review the results of our copilot progress and how users are interacting with it. And then we have option of publish it. We can publish it and we can use it as a demo website. We can consume it inside any a custom website and uh, inside teams chat and a social apps like whatsapp instagram facebook etc we have option to extend the copilot to the conversational AI that will be available for the m365 copilot chat so it is also very useful and then we have option of uh, 
settings where we can set up its details its AI integration tools generative AI options where we can manage our generative answers more precisely like we can add instructions here we have to enable these checks to activate the generative AI portion we can add the website shares and then we have a lots of channels available right now to export our copilot to different platforms like we can export our platforms on Microsoft Teams mobile apps Facebook demo website custom website Skype and many more and then we have an option of security we have an option of customer engagement hub in security we have a lots of authentication methods available uh, we're sharing authentication web channel security we can set up its security as well we have option to add skills we can make our copilot as skillful we can add a skills of any programming language of any a training language or any like trainings so it will answers on the basis of that skill we can add multiple language to our copilot we can add some languages here as well so it will generate answers in that language it will understand that language as well so it was the overview of that platform we'll see and explore it more in the next upcoming videos as well hope you got the little bit understanding of that platform now let's explore the api that will handle the flight inquiries and establish a custom connector for it here you can see we have defined the api to handle the flight related inquiries so there are two endpoints are defined one is flight and the other is package so in flight controller we have defined the get flight status endpoint which will produced the result on the basis of the flight number and the re response is also like statically defined and then in the same way we have set up the baggage controller as well that will also produce the result on the basis of the flight number so it is a dummy api to just go through the whole process of consuming the custom api inside the copilot studio so let's test it on the swagger ui first here on this figure UI, we can see our two endpoints are loaded. Let's test the flight status first. So we'll try out and enter a random number here. Let's suppose like this four, five, six, seven, eight, and execute. So it's hitting the endpoint and getting the response like this. So now we'll consume this API after creating a custom connector of it inside our Copilot Studio. So let's move to building up a custom connector from the API so for that part we have to go to the connected services here in connected services we have already set up the Microsoft Power Platform connection so we'll edit it or if you want we'll disconnect it right now so if it, now we'll create add we'll add a power platform connection and then we'll set up all these details now here you can see we have royal cyber platform and then it's loading yeah we'll set up its name we'll set up its name as flight flight details API connector and then all things are automatically set up we have to set common data services here and then we have to create a public dev tunnel so it's already there for the flight API tunnel if we don't have we can create by clicking on this plus button we can set up its name we can set it to the persistent and then we can set it to the public so after defining the tunnel we have to select it in that drop down and then we'll click on the next and then finish by defining these connection details our custom connector will be created and available on the power platform so now it's done it's configured you can see so we'll close it 
and we'll run it yeah it's loaded it with the dev tunnel url and now we'll open the custom connector on the power platform so here you can see our flight details api connector is here so we'll have we have to create its connection first so after creating that connection it will be available on all microsoft power platforms so after creating that connection we'll be able to consume it at copilot studio we have built the custom connector from the api now in the last part we're gonna consume that custom connector inside the microsoft copilot studio so let's begin that last part here we are back on the copilot studio and we already have a copilot named as flight tracker that will handle the queries related to the flight or baggage status here you can see we already have a topic inside it with the phrases like this like flight status baggage status flight or baggage status and so on so when user will ask any question with the, these tags it will automatically trigger to that topic so here we have some messages some questions are defined in this topic to ask user about the reservation and to ask user to verify user we have defined a adaptive card that will ask username and reservation number on the basis of username and reservation it will get the user details and then it will ask user about which detail user want to know like flight status or baggage detail upon selection of the option it will move toward that condition like the condition is added upon the choice it will run that flow on flight status it will run this and baggage it will run this so here we have custom connector are applied now we'll see we'll like delete these connectors and we'll re-add the connection and see how it will work so here we'll delete this and then on so it's showing the error because its response output variable is deleted now so we'll re-add this we'll go to the call to the action and then we'll search our connector with the name as flight status so it is get flight status from the flight details api connector so we'll select this it will do the connectivity with that custom connector we have already built so now you can see our connector is connected it's a green tick here without any error validation so we'll submit it and our connection is ready to consume it's saved and loaded now we'll add a number here like this four five six and save it again and then we'll run this example now let's reload this chat about a flight status so it will automatically trigger that topic and show us the message show we are here to help you do you have a flight reservation i'll say yes and now here it is the adaptive card view to ask user about the name i'll say it like as fun jar and reservation number will be 456 and it'll submit it and after submission it will ask again about the which detail i have to know about like flight status or baggage detail so we have set up the flight status i'll click on it and here you can see it's brought the response in adaptive card with the details so that was the whole process of consuming the custom api inside microsoft copilot studio hope you like that and learned a lot from it